In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert a timestamp to a date in Google Sheets. So there may be times when you are working in a spreadsheet that have timestamps and you want to convert them to dates. Maybe you just don't want the time to show up in the cell, or maybe you want to perform some kind of calculation using the date, at which point you need to remove that time from the timestamp. So I'm going to show you a few different ways to convert that timestamp to a date. Now first, I'm briefly going to cover what a timestamp is. So these are a few examples of what a timestamp is. Um, there is a type of data that is stored in Google Sheets called date time values. I'll just type that out so you can see it. So date time values and kind of like it sounds it is a value that has both a date and a time in it. So there's a few ways you can get a timestamp in your spreadsheet. You can use the now function which will just take the current timestamp. So this is the current date and time or there's a hotkey for it or a keyboard shortcut which is pressing alt control shift and semi semicolon on your keyboard. That will also put a timestamp in your cell. But maybe you are working in a spreadsheet that has these timestamps and you don't want the time to be there anymore. So that's what I'm going to show. I'm going to show three different methods for doing this. The first method is just formatting your cells as date and this will remove the time. So it's pretty simple. The first thing you want to do is highlight the cells that contain your timestamps and then go to format and then number and then date. And you can see it is no longer displaying the time in the cell. Now one thing to be aware of with this method is that the time still exists in the cell. It's just not displaying. So you can see that it is still up here. If you need to use this date for other things and you're doing a different calculation with them, this method may not work for you because the time still exists behind the scenes. So this will only display the date if you want to remove the time fully from the data that is stored in the cell. You need to use one of the next two methods that I'm going to show. So the next method is using a combination of the to date and int integer function. So for this method, all you do is first you want to do a to date function, and then inside that you do the integer function, and then you put in the cell that has your timestamp. And then you can see that it converts the timestamp to a date. Now, the reason that you're using this integer function has to do with the way Google Sheets stores date and date time values. So here's the formula with the integer function. If I'm going to paste this as a value over here, you can see this is the number that Google Sheets stores this as. So Google Sheets stores date and date time values as numbers. So this is the number that represents this date. Now watch what happens if I don't use this integer function. So I'll just do that over here. I'll just do a to date here. So you can see it did work. It is the date, but now look what happens when I paste this as values. You can see it has this decimal point here. So Google Sheets stores date time values as a number and the time is stored as a decimal point. So what the integer part of this function does, the int function, is it removes the decimal point. So you're only left with the date stored in the cell. So that is kind of how that works and why you're using both functions instead of just the one function. Now the next method is to use the split function. And what we're going to do is split this cell into two cells. So if you notice, all timestamps have a space in between the time and in between the date. So you can use this 
to split on the spaces and that will put your date in one cell and your time in another cell and then you can use the date if you need to so to do this it's split oops and then my first parameter in the function is the cell that contains my timestamp and then the second parameter is what do I want to split by I want to split by the spaces so I'm going to do a space in quotation marks and this will tell Google Sheets to split this value by the spaces and then when I hit enter you can see date in one value time in another and then I can copy this formula here and paste it down and it will do it for these cells so that is three different ways to convert a timestamp to a date in Google Sheets if you just want to display only the date and remove the time the format as a date option works well but again if you need to do other things with the date um, such as other functions or calculations uh, one of the second two methods where you actually convert the timestamp into a pure date and remove that time information is going to work better for you. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.